right guys this is out of the ordinary but guess what it's a classic 1996 the chevy suburban with a hundred thousand miles that's awesome mileage for this this is a super clean vehicle as well 57 350 power stair power brakes cold ac now when i bought this truck and brought it back to the lot i drove it 170 miles did great and you wouldn't believe it, but I drove 100 miles just on the cruise control. It was nice and smooth. It's going to be a good ride. It's going to be an easy test drive. Now, we do have some flaws. I did see some little rust spots on the bottom. It is older. Uh, be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping is available on this one. And, of course, it's not an old muscle car, but it is a classic. So, we got a 96 model Chevy Suburban going for a ride here. It's about that time. You know what time it is. Let's roll. The buzzer. <laughs> Go ahead and start her up here. I'm gonna shut this door so the buzzer stops. Eventually. Come on. There it goes. Okay, so we're gonna get some gas. We got good oil pressure. We got great mileage at 106,000. Does look like there's a check engine light cut on. It cut on about 30 miles in. So what I think happened is they probably erased the codes, whoever we got it from. I don't know what the code is. I'm sure it's just something simple like a sensor. Let's see. And obviously we'll get Jason to run the codes for you if you do want to know what that is. Um, he's got a scanner tool here at the lot. I just got to get him to do it real quick. Carpet's in decent shape. Look at that. Power locks. Let's try. Yeah, all working. Windows. Hey, that one's squeaky. Do want to roll all these back up? I'm just checking them for you. You got the AC. It does work. You got rear controls. Now we're missing a knob right here on the hot and cold spot. Same with the back. It's like they took the hot and cold off. They didn't want nobody messing with it. I don't know. Uh, your wipers. Cruise control works good. I tried it all the way there. Radio works good. So we're good there. Horn. Do we really have to place bets on that one? <laughs> all right, let's hit the road. I need to get some gas. We'll get gas halfway up through. And uh, we're heading to Struggle Jennings to... Um, do an interview with him we're gonna go check it out he's bought a bunch of cars from us we're gonna do a testimonial with him and he's got some really cool stuff going on in his life i just figured it'd be pretty cool to get that on film we're not gonna do that in this video but uh i'll have it up on the channel here soon so just look through that through some of my my videos all right guys let's take off see how this one runs and drives got y'all set up in the window over there a little bit of gear got a buddy coming as well um fusion kit Y'all know him. He's my bass player. We, we was in a band forever, and every once in a while we get back together and start jamming and doing our thing. So I called him and said, hey, you want to help me do a little interview, testimonial, struggle? Because he's bought a bunch of cars from us. Got a nice collection, too. Now we're going to stop get some gas. Because so we're on E. As we're pulling out the gate, our uh, speedometer is correct. We're already going 35. She seems to be shifting nice and smooth. Like I said, I drove it 100. I reset the trip. It's 153 miles is what I put on this. I bought it at one of the shows that we go to last weekend. We cruised a couple hours on back and uh, yeah. I was impressed. Plus, I knew with 100,000 miles it was going to be a good, reliable vehicle to get us back. I'm going to hit the brakes. Nice and smooth. Back into gas. Also nice and smooth. This is the daily. <laughs> the family daily. We'll turn in here. I'm going to get a little bit of gas. We're going to put his address in. And, uh, of course, I can't show you exactly where he lives. But 
we can get kind of close. I almost say it might be on that side, but I'm gonna hang out the door a little bit and find out. It's on this side. And it doesn't say here on the dash. And just to prove it to you, it's got a little gas pump on there and it's got the nozzle on that side. So this one actually doesn't tell you which side it's on. But I know a lot of y'all in there be like, no, Nick, it says it on there. It doesn't. I do want to show you that just because. Well, here you go. That's what the gas gauge says. No indication on which side it's on. Yet. It's right there. <laughs> All right, let's get some fuel. We'll check the gauge. We'll get out of here. Well, pretty simple here. $20 worth of fuel. Right in here. And the gauge does work. I watched it go down all the way back. <laughs> you see it come up. It was on an E, so we're good. Let's keep her rolling. I tell you what, that's what I call a good day, guys. It's been awesome. I got to hang out, struggle for a little bit, and that guy is genuine as it gets. I do suggest watching that video. Um, I'll have it coming out here soon. You'll be able to see it on my channel. We interview Struggle and all the cars that he has bought from Maple Motors. He's a Nashville native. Uh, his grandfather is Waylon Jennings. I don't know if you know who that is and struggles is a rapper country artist so he does a little bit of both he's got a lot of soulful music he's got a lot of rap um but the guy genuinely is awesome you should see the charities and the stuff that he's doing um he's giving away an el camino that's going to be in the video come on it's going to be fun <laughs> we're heading back to the lot now this one here the check engine light cut off and now we're at 165 miles that i have currently put on this vehicle since we bought it um i drove all the way to the other side of hendersonville to go to his house to check out what he got going on it's just been running awesome i mean good engine temperature good oil pressure we're at almost 60 pounds of oil pressure this one's ready to drive guys At honestly an old school price so you can't beat it now 
I did the walk around. We're missing an antenna. You got to get a new one. Got to screw it on. And uh, the back right quarter has rust in it. I seen it. It's bubbling up. It's the worst part on the car. The rest of the car look pretty rust free. Now that undercarriage shot, it's missing paint all over the frame. Exposed metal will start to rust. It's going to be called surface rust. It's not going to be rusted out. It could be repainted. It could be undercoated. Whatever you want to do. But I've already looked under there. It's pretty solid. It looks good. Now guys, this is a driver vehicle. This isn't a muscle car. But I've just given you everything that I've seen. I love doing my reviews. I try to be as descriptive as possible. Your visors, a little weak on this, but it's just a visor. They're a little puffy, I guess, a little thick. Might need some visors after all. And some knobs, two to be specific, one for the front and one for the back. And I might have to be one of the luckiest people in the world because I've been driving around this thing without a tag. <laughs> we didn't have any left at the car lot. I needed to get this video done. And I just so happened to get away with it, I guess. Anyways, we're all good. We're back at the lot. I'm pulling in, picking out the flaws that's coming up next. All our vitals are good. Check engine light cut off. I told you it was nothing to worry about. Thanks for watching. All right, let's walk this ride. We're looking for chip scratches, rust and dents. Now coming around the front end, we got a little spot here. You got some scuffs on top. Yeah, a little split here. Chrome's kind of peeling around on the trim. Little spot there. Maybe they had a brush guard or something on it. Both sides match. It's kind of like a foam material. And it's even with this side too, so we probably did. Crack right here. And down the sides, we got good tires on this one. Yeah, just some average wheels. Little dings in your trim. Ding here. A little bit of fading up here. Flat spot. Ding here. It's a little faded in the back on the trim there. Little specks of rust trying to pop up on some chips back here. You got a dent in the back. One here as well. Chip. Got some dents in your door here too. One there, one here, and one up here. Pretty small, you know a dent doctor bring those right out. Somebody took the stripes off on the side. You could always buy a new stripe kit if you wanted to put it on there. I like a clean, straight up vehicle. I don't Stripes are okay, you know, if they're on there. Get some bug stuff. I'm fading here. Back to black does good on that. They also have other conditioners for some of your trim. Spot there, it's been faded. Man, that interview was fun. I do suggest going over and checking out the interview with Struggles. He's doing like 24 rehab facilities around America in the worst cities. He's putting them out there to help people. Um, it was pretty cool stories that this guy had. He's getting ready to go on tour with Brantley Gilbert. Tell the lights there, faded. I love inter interviewing somebody like that. And I haven't had the chance before, but I never got it on film to talk to people that go on tour and do their thing. I got lucky and got to talk Chris Henderson from Three Doors Down to meet the whole band and all that. I was hanging out with that Chris Henderson guy for about three months. He was doing all kinds of cross country running. And now he builds guns. He's still in the band Three Doors Down. Little spot there. Yeah, he builds guns. And that's pretty cool. 
but he had some really cool stories. A little crusty inside this bracket. Look at that. You can always get a new one of those, but that one's fine, actually. I guess it was just paint falling off of it. While we're back here, we're going to go ahead and open it up and look in the back. I showed you those dings a minute ago. The back door looks good. I thought I seen one, but nope. I don't know what this is. A sticker left on there. Should come off. Door is open. Somebody got the lines in the carpet. This thing smells awesome. Whoever had it last, they got it smelling good. Okay. down this side worst spot on the vehicle it gathered some rust back over here and this panel is going to need to be redone you can see all the bubblings a lot of rust under it in this corner here which it's common very very common spot lower quarter there got some surface rust under the vehicle here but it's not all painted and covered up. That's why. If there's no paint on it, it's gonna start doing some surface rusting. But I didn't see anything that's ate all the way through. I got up under there and looked at it. A little ding here. And with that undercarriage shot that I sent you. You do got some bubbles popping up here. You can see them kind of coming through. So eventually you might want to check this one and that one. That one for sure. That one's got some rust in it. Now your bottoms of your doors. Lovely. Good shape bad especially for this year I don't know guys forgot to get under that lip there got a bunch of dust actually looks like old wax I just showed that hey let's look at it again <laughs> scuff here I think that'll come off same with this one. Looking over our back window. Good shape. A little bit of wax. Somebody gave her a hand wax. That's what they did. The thing about wax, though, if you don't get it all off, it's going to come right back. Something that I've learned, if y'all haven't done this before, Get it all waxed up, wipe it all down. The next day, wipe her all down again in the morning, right before you go take off. Get up a little early, do it. Some real light scratches in the windshield, but nothing I'd be concerned about. Some That right there, a buffer could take right off. But yeah, I did buff cars, wax cars for years. That's a, that's a must. This door here, hold on, not this one. This door up here, the power lock, It'll lock down, but going back up, it comes about halfway up. So it unlocks all the rest of them, though. We're going ahead and looking at the interior. Yeah, it's always good. The whole the next day, you're gonna have wax dry up again. It's just gonna do it. It's all, you're never gonna get it all off in one swipe. exit latch back here this side too so both sides have exit latches very clean in here it's like a step back in time like these are the vehicles that I grew up in when my parents were driving me around <laughs> how old was I in this I was five years old when this vehicle came out we probably didn't have anything this nice. Let me try to open that. 
it was stuck, but I mean, look, it was brand new. Ashtray just had dust in it. <laughs> hey, that's a good thing. And I noticed in the front, somebody ripped the ashtray completely out. Don't smoke in my truck. Not saying that it hasn't ever been smoked in. But I'm going to say somebody uh, didn't like it. And that's definitely going to help a vehicle in the long run. Because if you smoked in it for years, it's going to make it kind of a nasty smell. You know, y'all know all about that. The edge of the seat here's got a little bit of a wear. See? floor looks good got some stains right here in the front but now looking at your pedals and stuff look good now this seat over here has also got some cracking going on but still in good shape I noticed on this one, eventually I think the fuel pump's going to go out. And the reason I say that is a lot of these vehicles that take a second to start, it's a weak fuel pump. If you turn the key two or three times and it starts right up, that's a dead giveaway. And this one was given the symptoms. It's still starting every single time. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's just going, getting a little weak. And I did notice one thing. The check engine light completely cut off. It's probably nothing to worry about. It really ain't. I was driving it. I didn't turn it off. You know me, guys. I'm not that kind of guy. I wouldn't hide it from you. I'd try to do anything possible to prove that. And you can see we were at 50-something miles, so I've put some miles on it throughout this test drive. That's how many miles I've driven it since we got it. It's a good one. I like it. It's clean under the hood, quiet. I feel like it's gonna be like my van in a way. You have a million calls on it, everybody's wanting to pick it up. But we'll see, I may be wrong. Oh yeah, when I checked the oil on this one, it looked fairly new. Your headlights are kind of foggy. They can be buffed out. You can also find them online now. Pretty cheap. Now, a little thin paint right there on the hood. Got a spot here as well. I see a little water stain, but that might come out. This side here, you got a little thin spots down in this slot. Y'all can't see it because of the shadow. But I like to tell you about it. Your uh, wipers, they could be repainted. Okay. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe and share. I know this is an old classic muscle car. But I tell you what, I respect it for the mileage that it has. And it's clean. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping is available on all of our vehicles. Make sure to check out that Struggle Jennings video. I think it, it's an in, interesting video to sit down and watch. The guy has got a lot of life stories, and he's down to earth. He's cool. I enjoyed today. I enjoyed being able to go over there, and I even enjoyed being able to test drive this for you guys. So hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.